Hello from the Bayer Water Utilization Learning Center. My name is Alex Rosa, Learning Center Agronomist. In today's video, we are going to talk about inoculation of soybeans. So most producers around Nebraska and the Central Plains don't do inoculation in their fields, most likely because they have uh, soybeans in the rotation every other year, especially if you do a corn soybean rotation, right? And the best way to check if your soybean plant is fixing nitrogen is to dig a few plants, especially after V2, V3, when this process takes off. Uh, now we have soybeans here at R2, so it's a very easy time to dig a few plants, look for those nodules. We'll have some images here so you can check the size, the number of nodules, and especially the color inside. So you want some really nice red nodules that indicate that is actively fixing nitrogen from the atmosphere to the plant. So the inoculant can help the soybean plant fix up to from 50 to 75 percent of its total nitrogen. The rest comes from the soil, the organic matter and so on. Since this is a very cheap practice, it can cost less than two dollars an acre, uh, we highly encourage you to, to take a look and and perhaps inoculate if you can, especially if you are not grow, if you didn't grow soybeans in the last three to five years in your rotation. So then uh, it's uh, advisable to go ahead and inoculate. And for this particular study, what we are evaluating is different rates of inoculant. So we have our control, which is no inoculation done. Then we have uh, 1x, so one time, the recommended rate for uh, inoculant to be applied on the seed. Then we have 4x and 8x. So we are really uh, increasing that number to see if there is any influence of those higher rates based on our friends from South America, what they do there. Uh, another thing that we are doing when we inoculate is we are applying cobalt and molybdenum. So those two elements are very well known to help the fixation process. Cobalt is more linked to the cobalamine, so vitamin B12, and that's uh, very linked to the leg hemoglobin, which gives the red color to that nodule indicating the fixation that I just talked about. Now, the molybdenum is part of the nitrogenase enzyme, so it's highly related to the process of fixation of nitrogen. So again, we are trying to see if those two elements can have any impact on our inoculation process or study that we are conducting here at the Learning Center. That's it for today. If you have any comment, any suggestion, please feel free to type here in the comment area. Uh, we'll see you next time with more agronomic topics here from the Learning Center. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video from the Gothenburg Water Utilization Learning Center. For more information, please call 308-537-4500.